Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is April and we are a family living life overseas. I'm also a homeschool family. We are going into our seventh year of homeschooling here soon. And this channel is a little bit a mix of family, homeschool and living life overseas. So welcome. Today, I'm really excited to talk with you guys about some books that came in the mail. So, uh, along with the regular, you know, homeschool curriculum, I love to get really good, fun, extra books or resources that are going to help make school more fun or come to life more for them, right? So, for my older two boys, um, who are 8 and 10, I thought it would be really fun to get some of the Who Was books for this year. So what I did, we do gather around as our main spine, our main curriculum. So I went ahead and looked ahead, picked out what units we're doing this year. And I thought, okay, who will we be able to learn about this year based on the units we're doing? For instance, one of the units we're doing is um, inventions and so all of the inventors. And so a lot of these guys that I got are a lot of the inventors. So. Um, I've been really excited to get these books for a long time and so I'm really um, happy to be able to get these for our boys. So we have Steve Irwin, Albert Einstein, the Wright Brothers, Steven Spielberg, Henry Ford, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Nikola Tesla, Leonardo da Vinci, and Thomas Alva Edison. So what's really neat about these books, in case you guys don't know, um, is, okay, I'll, I'll get Henry Ford for instance. It's a really neat chapter book for the kiddos to learn about, uh, um, biography wise, um, but they have really nice graphics from that time period, from that person's life to kind of help um, the kiddos connect more with them. And it's written in a way for kiddos to enjoy and not just be boring facts, but more story form and in a way that's more, you know, relatable for the kiddos. So I'm really, really excited for our boys to be able to do those. And then that um, next set of books I'm even more excited about. I have had my eye on these for the longest time. And this is the Julia Rothman collection. I believe she has four in the series now. There's three that came with this one, which is um, Food Anatomy, Farm Anatomy, and Nature Anatomy. And I wish so bad there was like a way you guys could touch these right now because um, the feel and the quality of the books and the pages are really thick. Um, it's a really neat texture. Um, I, I dig that as a book lover. So this is the newest one, the Ocean Anatomy. Um, along with the cute little box the first three came in, they gave these amazing charts. I'm so in love. Okay, Aunt Nina, if you're watching, look at this one. My Aunt Nina has a YouTube channel on here as well, um, the Steve and Nina Show, and she, they raise chickens. And I was like, I was like, guys, look, this reminds me of Aunt Nina. But anyways, they have the coolest cards from farming stuff to how to make a Sunday. Let's see, food truck. This is all about eggs, all like a million different ways to cook eggs. Feathers, and I know you guys can't tell, but these are really, really thick card stock. So we're gonna be doing botany this coming year. So I was really excited for those nature flower cards and plant cards. So those came with the box set. So in case you don't know enough about these amazing books that you have to have in your life, I'm gonna show you a little sneak peek. Um, they, I would say in a nutshell, these are fun resource books for your kids to get their hands on without them even realizing they're learning. And they're going to soak in all the images are seen. It's like a visual feast for the eyes. Um, and, but also learn at the same time. So you can learn, do it just for fun, but you can also, I mean, there's everything you can think about in each of these themed books that can go along with so much that you're doing in the school year. As I was looking through these, I'm like, oh, this is gonna go great with this unit. This is gonna go great with this lesson, you know, that kind of a thing. So I'm gonna show you guys now the inside. All right, here is inside the Ocean Anatomy book. So I'll take you guys to the content page first. There's a drop in the ocean, plenty of fish in the sea, a whale of time, 
life's a beach, dive in, reef madness, chill out, and from sea to shining sea. And then the very back actually has a recommended reading list and selected resources and bibliographies. So there's the intro page, there's some little letters from other people that have written to her thanking her. So it starts off with the ocean. And I'll just kind of flip through a little bit of the book just so you guys can see how gorgeous the graphics are. So then we're going to start going into fish. Anatomy of different types of fish. Sharks. Jellyfish. As you can see, the graphics are really beautiful. What I, what I really like about them, my son flipped out over these two pages. He is really into the deep sea creatures. And um, what I love about these graphics is so far, I've noticed they're really accurate for being, you know, um, drawn like this, but they're drawn in a way that is still really captivating for kiddos and fun for them. So I like how they did a combination of the two. I'm right, just gonna do a little bit of a quick flip through the rest of the book so you guys can see. So if you are doing any kind of studies on animal sea life, um, tide pools, ocean currents, coral reefs, anything that you can think of that it includes the ocean. This is going to be a great resource book for your guys' um, families to be able to look up stuff and when they need to research and also just for fun reading time um, together. So that is the ocean book. All right, next is the Nature Anatomy book. This one is so cool, you guys. All right, so content page. Common ground, what's up? Come close, take a hike, creature feature, a little bird told me, and head above water. They're gonna be learning about the layers of the earth, the rock cycle, fossils, minerals, landforms, atmosphere, weather, water cycle, anatomy of flowers, bees, butterflies, metamorphosis. They're gonna be learning all about trees and leaf identification. They're gonna be learning about all kinds of different animals, all kinds of different birds, um, ecosystems of the pond, freshwater cycle, life cycle of a salmon. I mean, so much more, guys. It is a pretty cool book. I could see, especially if you are another gather around family like us, this book would be really great for North America. I mean, honestly, any of the continent studies because you're gonna cover all of that in here. Earth science, and even some of the ones coming out this coming year um, or two with the um, national parks and um, different stuff that they're gonna be doing. So I'll just do a little flip through for you guys now. I'm so in love with the graphics in these books. Just last night when we sat down as a family and we were looking through some of them, the, boy, <laughs> the boys were getting really excited about the ones that really caught you know, their eye. My oldest, when he saw the squid and the octopus ones, he was so excited. And then my middle son, who is really into nature, loved seeing this one. All about foraging in the forest. Oh, look how cute they are. So there's some pages where it's more just, you know, the images, and that is cool alone, but you have these really nice little chunks of text for the kiddos to read as they're looking. Oh, the North American Burn Unit for Gather Round, this would be great too as well. And I believe the Good and the Beautiful also has a bird unit, and I'm sure there's many others out there. So that's awesome. You guys, these books, honestly, are gonna be so great for research and um, a, a really great non-online resource for our families to have when we are doing all of these great studies together. Oh man, this one is so cool, you guys. All right, there you have it. That is nature. All right, next is farm anatomy. So let's check out the content page. 
breaking ground, layers of the soil, topsoil chart, um, mineral nutrients, crop rotation, predicting weather, composting. Then you have raised in a barn, so barn styles, um, barn doors, bracing, hardwood, um, farm buildings, animal feeders, everything like that. Tools of the trade, so you're gonna learn about tractors, how to plow a field, combines, tool sheds, um, plant a seed, you're gonna learn average frost dates, squash varieties, how to build a t bean teepee, four ways to grow tomatoes, planting an orchard, apple varieties, good bugs, bad bugs, Shepar separating the sheep from the goats, you're gonna learn all kinds of animal terms, parts of a rooster, chicken breeds, how a cow's stomach works, how to milk a cow. Oh, that's cool, because we just got done going to a dairy farm. Um, oh my gosh, this is so cool. All kinds of stuff from rabbits. Oh, that's good, because we are about to get a rabbit, so this is gonna be awesome. Um, country wining and dining, so old-fashioned country kitchen, um, edible flowers, basics of bread milking, dairy terms, prime cuts of beef, freezing meat, pressure canning. Guys, this is so cool. Oh my goodness spinning a yarn so learning a natural dyes how to make a flower press a corn husk doll making rag rugs making candles okay i didn't read all of this guys i just did it really quickly so chapter one breaking ground ground it's going to be talking about the soil nutrients in the soil composting oh my goodness i think i'm going to learn a lot from this this is so exciting all you homesteaders out there or people that want to have a homestead this will be such a cute book for your kiddos and hey you might even learn something too types of tractors tools oh man my boys are going to eat this book up I love how they talk about the different vegetables that you can grow the varieties how to grow them I honestly think I might just sit and read through all of these. This just looks amazing. I'm noticing there's some recipes in this book, which is pretty cool. This is neat. I wish we would have had this before we went to the dairy farm. When they were saying about the different cows they had, I'm like, sure, I have no clue what you're talking about. <laughs> I recognize some of them now. So remember they said they had a uh, is it a Guernsey? A Jer I don't know. They had a Jersey and a brown Swiss. I think a whole stain, whole sign. Gosh, guys, I don't even know. I grew up in country land and I'm still, I don't even know all the things about cows. And we have a million goats where we live, guys. They're everywhere. Everywhere. So this will be cool for the boys to learn more about goats. And sheep are everywhere here, too. We literally, it's like a, oh, good. This is going to be great. The bunnies for us to learn more about bunnies since we're about to get one. But you guys, when we are driving around on our ATV where we live, um, going down our hill by our house, it literally looks like one of those little in the States where you go through with your car and pet all the animals. We have cows and sheep and goat and all kinds of animals just on each side of us. It's so funny. So you can learn about how to pressure cook, making maple syrup, natural dyes. Oh my God. This is so cool. I think this is going to be such a great family learning book together. Farm Anatomy. Okay, last one is Food Anatomy. My 10 year old not only is obsessed with sea creatures, he is obsessed with food, guys. He has a million cookbooks. He loves to cook and try new ingredients out. We're actually going to be doing a professional chef unit study over the summer that I did a video on. Um, I can link below for you guys if you want to see inside it my campfire curriculum. So here are the contents. Food for thought, history of food, place settings, um, kinds of spoons, traditional ovens, fermentation, eat your fruits and veggies, talking all about those, uh, a grain of truth, talking all about grains and pasta and noodles, meat of the matter, the meat of the matter, talking about all kinds of meats and cuts and what you can do with them. Dairy Queens, talking all about milk and dairy and butter, street food. We looked at this one last night, it's pretty awesome. Uh, different kinds of street food that you might see, how to have a food truck or a food stand, seasons to taste, all kinds of different spices and seasonings, drink it up, a whole chapter on all kinds of drinks, and a whole chapter on dessert. So let's check this out, guys. I 
I know I've said it a million times already, but these, these pages are such a feast for the eyes. They're just so beautiful. This is neat. I don't think I've ever seen that many kind of forks, but you know, that's okay. Different ways to cook. Very cool because where we live, people definitely don't in general cook in ovens here. So it's neat for kiddos to learn that, you know what? Not everyone cooks with an electric or gas oven all over the world. So that's kind of neat. Oh yeah, we have these here. We don't call them that though. I have to uh, put below what we call them. I cannot remember. Um, I want to say maybe million. No, it wasn't that one. I can't remember. I'll have to figure it out. Ah, we have some of these in our backyard. Banana trees. It's pretty awesome having fresh fruit available. Grains. How to make bread. Pasta. Again, I wish you guys could feel these books. They're so incredibly made, very well made, such high quality. I really believe, this is the street food one, this is so cool. I really believe every family needs to have this set. It's just gonna be such a great resource for your kiddos to just sit anytime they want and devour and look up and just have fun with these gorgeous graphics, but then also use for research when they need to. We were looking at this one last night. We were like, oh yeah. Homemade butterscotch sauce, old fashioned candy. Sweet. <laughs> there you have it guys. Okay friends, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and looking at all of those books. If you have them, let me know what is your favorite Julia Rothman book or who was book. And if you haven't tried any of those yet and you're now curious about trying one of them, let me know too and how you like it if you do get it in. Thanks guys.